when they talk about the different changes in the body, some are hormonal, some are just because of the body stretching as far as basically, you know, your skin has a stretch over that uterus, right? And so going back, it causes, it can cause those stretch marks, which are little scars that come into the abdomen. And those scars, there's nothing to really, you know, get rid of them completely, but, and it's genetic too. Some women absolutely get no scarring and, and some women are completely racked. My son racked me over the coals. <laughs> so I have used every single thing from microdermabrasia to laser to every cream that you could possibly use. Then there's the breasts, okay? So your breasts, you're like, you know, hey, and your husband's like, hey, those look really good before right and now. while you're breastfeeding and everything because they get bigger and plumper and they're just perfect. But after you finish breastfeeding, it's sort of like a balloon that's deflated. It can kind of come down and get flat. And again, this doesn't happen to every woman, and especially if you don't gain too much weight. So that's why it's really crucial that you stay within those parameters, because that's really going to help you get your weight back, you know, get back to you. And that's really what every woman wants after delivery, to get back to her so she can just be herself as a mommy. I encourage every woman, if she has real problems with her self-image after pregnancy, and I tell this to all mommies, because sometimes you really can have been raked over the coals, and then you call up this guy for a mommy makeover. That's why there's plastic surgeons, and, and that's he will, why there's he the will, mommy makeover. But, but you know, it's not for everybody. Things. Women, no question, pay their dues having their kids, and certain women, I mean, it, it leaves significant uh, deformities, marks, mm -hmm. loose skin, stretch marks, and I think the key is going in to do everything you can ahead of time. As Dr. Lisa said, try to keep your weight at the right weight, exercise, vitamin E, cocoa butter, I think we both agree to a certain extent that may help. As far as stretch marks itself, we are doing fractional CO2 laser on, on stretch marks, and that's the single best thing that we can do. Not gonna erase them completely, but it does make them better. And finally, like you said, we're doing it all the time. When you know you're done having kids, the so-called mommy makeover, where we do a combination of a tummy tuck and breast lifting and breast enlargement if you have lost volume. And do your kegels because down there it gets affected too and you, you know, have to talk to your gynecologist about it. But again, none of those things, I've, I've seen some ladies who just look absolutely, you know, the same afterwards and I was like, well, dang, if I could look like that, I wouldn't have had just Daniel. But you know, I wasn't gonna go through that train wreck again. <laughs> but again, it's so beautiful and so worth it that, you know, it all works out in the end. Now Julie's sitting here and she's like, oh my gosh. Oh, what have I got we're, giving her, we're giving her the straight scoop though that every woman doesn't get to get. Because afterwards you go, nobody told me about this, nobody told me about that because really if we told you all that beforehand, you might not have gotten pregnant in the first place. <laughs> you know. But Julie, best of luck to you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being with us.